Coming up on 5-Minute News. Supreme Court rejects GOP plan to manipulate future elections. FBI ignored massive amount of intelligence before insurrection. And evidence suggests heat wave across US South caused by climate crisis. It's Wednesday, June 28. I'm Anthony Davis. The Supreme Court ruled yesterday that the state's courts can curtail the actions of their legislatures when it comes to federal redistricting and elections, rejecting arguments by North Carolina Republicans that could have dramatically altered races for Congress and President in that state and beyond. The justices, by a 6-3 vote, upheld a decision by North Carolina's top court that struck down a congressional districting plan as excessively partisan under state law. The high court did, though, indicate there could be limits on state court efforts to police elections for Congress and President, suggesting that more election-related court cases over the issue are likely. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote for the court that state courts retain the authority to apply state constitutional restraints where legislatures act under the power conferred upon them by the elections clause. But federal courts must not abandon their own duty to exercise judicial review. The practical effect of Tuesday's decision is minimal in North Carolina, where the state Supreme Court, under a new Republican majority, already has undone its redistricting ruling. Another redistricting case from Ohio is pending, if the justices want to say more about the issue before next year's elections. Justices Samuel Alito, Clarence Thomas and Neil Gorsuch would have dismissed the North Carolina case because of the intervening state court action. Vice President Kamala Harris said in a statement that the decision preserves state courts' critical role in safeguarding elections and protecting the voice and will of the American people. The Democratic administration defended the power of state courts in the case. Former President Barack Obama, in a rare public comment on a court decision, applauded the outcome as a resounding rejection of the far-right theory that has been peddled by election deniers and extremists seeking to undermine our democracy. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security downplayed or ignored a massive amount of intelligence information ahead of the January 6, 2021 attack on the US Capitol, according to the chairman of a Senate panel that on Tuesday released a new report on the intelligence failures ahead of the insurrection. The report details how the agencies failed to recognize and warn of the potential for violence, as some of then-President Donald Trump's supporters openly planned the siege in messages and forums online. Among the multitude of intelligence that was overlooked was a December 2020 tip to the FBI that members of the far-right extremist group Proud Boys planned to be in Washington for the certification of Joe Biden's victory, and their plan is to literally kill people, the report said. The Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee said the agencies were also aware of many social media posts that foreshadowed violence, some calling on Trump supporters to come armed and storm the Capitol, kill lawmakers or burn the place to the ground. The report by the panel's majority of staff says the intelligence community has not entirely recalibrated to focus on the threats of domestic rather than international terrorism. And government intelligence leaders failed to sound the alarm, in part because they could not conceive that the US Capitol building would be overrun by rioters. As protesters gathered at Trump's speech and near the Capitol were wearing ballistic helmets, body armor, carrying radio equipment and military-grade backpacks, the FBI briefed that there were no credible threats at this time. The record heat wave roiling parts of Texas, Louisiana and Mexico was made at least five times more likely due to human-caused climate change, scientists have found, marking the latest in a series of recent extreme heat dome events that have scorched various parts of the world. 
A stubborn ridge of high pressure has settled over Mexico and a broad swathe of the southern U.S. over the past three weeks, pushing the heat index, a combination of temperature and humidity, to above 120 Fahrenheit in some places. More than 40 million people in the U.S., including those living in the Texas cities of Houston, San Antonio and Austin, have been placed under excessive heat warnings, raising fears over the health of people vulnerable to the heat and placing Texas's energy grid under strain from surging air conditioner use. The heating of the Earth's atmosphere and oceans by the burning of fossil fuels made the extreme heat wave at least five times more likely, according to a recent analysis by Climate Central, a climate science non-profit. The punishing heat, which is forecast to linger further throughout the week in Texas, is creating stressful conditions for millions of people, according to Andrew Pershing, Vice President for Science at Climate Central. This heat dome, one of the strongest ever recorded, was formed by a high-pressure atmospheric system that created a sinking column of warming air that trapped latent heat already absorbed by the landscape like a sort of lid. Such events typically occur without rain and are cloudless, allowing the sun to bake the surface unhindered, causing temperatures to spike. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.